So I've just had another email come in from an agency client. Let me read what they've just said. Hi Cass, really need your help mate. We hired a freelancer to build a WordPress website for our client. He's asked for a 1k deposit up front, which we paid, but he's all gone downhill from there. I mean, taking a deposit off a freelancer up front is nothing unusual. We asked for a deposit up front when we're doing the work. What really worries me is what he said. It's all going downhill. So let me read on. After taking the deposit, the freelancer went AWOL, Jean-Claude Van Damme. He knew we had a meeting with the client the following Monday, which he was supposed to attend, but completely left us in the shit. We see this time and time again, where meetings have been set with freelancers and they don't turn up on behalf of the agency. On that Monday, we received a weird WhatsApp message from the supposedly freelancer's mother saying that he had a food poisoning issue. It's a bit unusual. But around the same time, our team member found him tagged in a Facebook post. He'd actually been on a weekend bender where he probably got high on cocaine. This is not the first time I've heard this where someone has gone out on the weekend, got themselves absolutely shit-faced and then not turned up on a Monday morning. Happens quite often, particularly with the stress that a lot of freelancers are under. As you can imagine, he goes on and says, he's now left us with a client that's pissed off and a freelancer that he's coked up off his ass in bed. In this particular scenario, again, the best thing to do is provide us with the accesses so we can continue with that work to make sure you as the agency are seen in good light with your customer. And don't forget, we get you out the shit that your freelancers just dropped you in.